the home of Beale Street, the Beale Street Posse. Names are, ready for this? Yes. Crypto and Delicio. Representing Lethal Attitude Wrestling in Memphis. And their points. At a combined weight of 454 pounds, they are the team of Eric Watts and David. of the NWA's next generation. Oh, speaking of Eric Watts, so many things we need to talk about. How about that movie pulled on Nikita Kolum and Dusty Rhodes to steal the NWA former championship belt being stealing by Rick Flair. And then to hear Eric Watts brag about it later oh, on. Yeah. And to see how thrilled he is to hold that NWA World Heavyweight Championship belt. Can you talk about a slap in the face? Oh. To, not only to Dusty Rhodes, but to the tradition of the NWA, the National Wrestling Alliance, over 50 years. All the great competitors that have worn that championship belt. And that's absolutely what that is, a slap in the face from Eric Watts. Second generation competitor, what? the son of a legendary wrestler and promoter. Well, you know, he said he was going to get in Jeff Jarrett's mind, but I believe he's gotten all of our minds, Mike. I mean, it's like, what is this guy thinking? I mean, we saw him, what, a couple weeks ago, party with great athletes down in, in uh, uh, Destin, Florida, at a big celebrity event, bragging about, and, you know, how he was wishing to get Jarrett lost, and then next week, I'm telling you, the guy is just really going a direction I can't figure out, Mike. And speaking about not being able to figure out someone, if you think back to when Eric Watts arrived on the scene and started playing the mind games with Jeff Jarrett, then you factor in the repeated challengers, oh. whether it's AJ Styles, whether it's Raven, people coming from out of the woodwork because of Jeff Jarrett being what he is, the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion, and I don't think that there's any coincidence that since we've seen all these people set their sights on Jeff Jarrett, we've seen a totally different NWA World's Champ in Mr. Jarrett. Mike, Jeff has always been a rock. Since he's been the champion, he has been nothing but a rock. And lately, he is just cracking at the seams, Mike. It's just... He, he's losing it. I'm sorry, he's losing it. Yeah, we've seen that repeatedly here in the past couple of weeks on NWA TNA. You can go back to when he took the steel chair to the head of D'Lo Brown, sent him to the hospital with a concussion. Heck, he choked out Goldilocks recently. He, he punched another female, Alexis Lurie. I guess he feels that he's just got so many people coming at him from so many different directions that he can't trust anybody and that he's going to take the fight to him first so that he doesn't get blindsided himself. Mike. I understand that, but as NWA World Heavyweight Champion, you need to be above all of that. You need to represent the NWA as a true World Heavyweight Champion. Well, the pressure's just getting to him. It's obvious. Uh, I mean, and folks, you'll even see that later on this program. I don't want to. I don't want to let you know. But you'll even see that later in the program, the situation between Dusty and Jeff. But I can't tell you about it. You've got to watch oh, a yeah. bit later Stick on. Stick around. You're not going to believe yeah. what went down this past Wednesday involving Dusty Rhodes and the NWA Heavyweight Champion, Jeff Jarrett. Did you hear Eric Yeah, watch? I get ready to say, Eric, say, talk about me. Yeah, talk running, about me. Running monologue from the ring apron. Eric Watts wanting to make sure that he gets plenty of air time. The oh. team move by the Beale Street Posse ends up in a pin attempt. And only a two count from this show on David Flair. Oh, Eric Watts in the ring and he just overpowered him. Two thirds of the NWA's next generation. Eric Watts, David Flair. It's the second time I believe in, in two weeks we've had him here in, in one of the TNA exposure matches. Oh man, power bomb in the corner, and you saw the back and the back of the head of Delicio making contact with that top, very unforgiving turnbuckle. You know, one thing I've got to say is <laughs> Eric Watts is definitely happy to be back in the ring, Mike. I mean, you can just see it. He's enjoying himself, playing with everybody's heads. Yeah, and probably enjoying the effect that it's having on oh, Jeff Jarrett right as well. With impact, he drives Crypto to the mat. Oh, great move by Flair! David Flair as well, and the next generation puts it together. Almost total domination between these two. Bottom line, David Flair, Eric Watts, victorious on explosion. Yeah, Johnny 
Storm's going to go. 